So recently, there is a growing interest in using Olama in a JavaScript or TypeScript application. I personally was intrigued by this blog post on Olama website that talks about integration with OpenAI. That is, you can use Olama models as you use any other OpenAI model using the OpenAI's NPM package. More on this in a while. Now recently, I have built this simple Next.js app that streams responses from large language models. Now first things first, LLM responses are meant to be streamed and nobody wants to wait for minutes only to see thousands of words pop up on their screen. And let's not use the console to show model outputs. It's not the 80s, so let's keep the console for printing error messages or debugging them. So I had to find a way to stream Olama responses in JavaScript. Now back to the blog post. Here it says that I can simply use the OpenAI's NPM package as usual just by passing along Olama in place of the API key and specifying an Olama model name. It also gives a somewhat incomplete code example of streaming the responses using the Vercel AI SDK, the same SDK that I used in my app. That's great, right? That means technically I can stream Olama responses via this OpenAI package as middleware, except that it did not work. So I kept digging and finally I had some luck with Langchain community. In fact, it was easier than I expected. So without further ado, here is the code that works. So as a starting point, I'll take a clone of my repository where I have implemented a basic Next.js app that streams LLM responses. Now, the point of this video is how to stream Olama responses in Next.js. For a more general tutorial on streaming responses in Next.js, check out this video here. After the repository is downloaded, I'll cd into it and then write code dot to open it up in VS Code. Then I'll install the required npm packages by writing npm install and then run npm run dev to spin up the app. Now straight away I'll go to the API implementation where I've implemented the post handler for streaming. Now it is written for Google's Gemini Pro as you can see here. So let's delete everything here. I leave the part where I have unpacked the incoming request to get the prompt out. Now I'll install langchain community package npm i langchain slash community. After the package is installed, I'll import olama from address langchain slash community slash llms slash olama. Now inside the post handler, I'll first create an instance of the imported object const olama is equal to new olama and it takes base llm parameters first the base url where we'll specify our local host port 11.434 on which Olama listens to by default. And we'll specify the model name as Mistral since it's fast, bits models with larger parameters and most importantly, I have it installed on my machine. Quick note, if you want a quick start guide on how to set up Olama on your machine, then do check out this video here. From here, we'll simply call the stream function to get a response object const stream is equal to await olama.stream and we'll pass the prompt here. Now the stream function returns a iterable stream object which extends the readable stream. That's great because the streaming text response object that we must return for the streaming to work takes as input a readable stream object itself. So we pass the stream along here. With everything set up, let's test it. We'll write a prompt and see if we get streaming responses from Mistral running on Ulama. And we do. It's as simple as that. Now there is more to explore. We can even leverage multimodal models like Lava by sending base64 image data along with the prompt. If you'd like a video on that, leave a comment below. And if you want to know how you can tweak the API so that you can share it publicly like any other Next.js app but with an Olama backend hosted on your machine, then check out this video here to learn how to do that in 4 minutes. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.